What's up guys, my name is Cornelius Robinson and today I want to introduce you to layout rules. They are specific to PCB layout and offer some very powerful editing features. This is Overshoot, let's get into it. At the top left corner we have our library, objects, and rules. We can create a list of rules to define a variety of things like traces, components, and even silkscreen elements. For this component, you can say I've already created a rule. You can add a name and a description. Next we have a selector, which is very important. This defines which elements will be affected by the rule. The selector can be any number of things, such as a component, a trace, a pad, a hole, you name it. For this example, I have selected all pads. For the actual rule, we also have a wide range of options. In this case, I have a pad shape and size. We can change the shape, making it circular, but that would be awkward. We can also add additional rules here. As you can see, there are a lot of options to choose from, but we'll just select pad type for this example. We could change this from SMD to standard, and now we have a bunch of through holes. Now you might be wondering how the center pad is a different size when we set a rule for all the pads. In Flux, rules work like CSS. In other words, general rules are the default unless an object-specific rule is set. So if I select this pad and go to the Layout Rules section, we can see our selector-based rules, but above that, we see the object-specific rule. If I uncheck this, the pad will default to the selector based rule like the rest of the pads. Alright, let's go to our project to see how rules can help us there. I'll just name this traces, and for the selector I'll put, you guessed it, trace. Now I have 79 objects selected. If I add the trace width property editor, you'll see all the traces change. And of course we can change this number to anything we want, even something ridiculous like 3 mils. Okay, let's add another rule set. This time I'm going to use a property as the selector. This needs to be fairly specific. Uh, don't add spaces, and keep in mind this is case sensitive. We'll set the part type to resistor, but I don't want to type out the whole word, so I'll use an asterisk before the equal sign. There, both of our resistors are selected. Now if we wanted, we could select specifically the pads of the resistors by using a space and typing out pad. Now I have four objects selected. Likewise, we can select multiple elements by using a comma between them. For example, I'll use the designator prefix property this time and set it to C. Now we have our resistors and capacitors selected. Then we can add the rules we want. For example, I can move all of these components to the bottom layer instead. Alright guys, I hope this has given you an idea of what rules are and how they are used. I've only scratched the surface on what's possible here, but if you want to know more, you can go to docs.flux.ai. Mm -hmm.